My name is uh, Eric Peterson, karaoke, Wanjoike. This is my wife, Melody Wanjiro. And these are my cousins, Karis and Victor. Um, maybe I will say uh, something before I read the tribute is maybe I'm a proud recipient of one thing maybe no one, anybody uh, has never seen or is that she once beat me thoroughly. She, yeah, and she chased me. I used to be a scout and I had uh, the whistle and she chased me around the house and whipped me until today, I will never enter a woman's handbag. <laughs> Mom, as I sit down to honor you, my heart swells with love and admiration for the incredible life you led. A tapestry woven with love, wisdom, and indomitable strength. You are a passionate teacher, a visionary entrepreneur, and above all, a natural mother. Your approach to life was beautifully simple, yet deeply profound. You affectionately call me Kiki in your everyday moments. Eric, when I was mischievous or when, when serious matters aroused, and Peterson, when she overflowed with joy in her heart. I smile when I think of how your hobbies reflected your industrious and visionary spirit. You powered yourself into your work always and had an eye towards the future and never missed an opportunity to support others. Your wisdom and profound insights often came with a touch of humor and those witty comebacks that were uniquely yours. I cherish the simple things that brought you joy your preference for hot drinking water, your love for Michael Bolton and Yvonne Chaka Chaka music, and your shared laughter watching The Gods Must Be Crazy and Mr. Bean. Your love for fish over meat, your impatience with idleness and laziness, and your wavering punctuality are lessons that have stayed, that have stayed with me. Our land prospecting adventures are among my most treasured memories. Standing together in Kileleshua, you said, you had a vision to say, here we shall put up a hotel. And in Kimbo Ruero, you saw beyond the present, dreaming of a thriving community and a college of your own. Your uncanny ability to spot potential was unparalleled. Hence, we have our brother here, Mr. Jenga, super machine. Super brother, super friend. You recognize talent in others they hadn't even seen in themselves. And your humor, ma, it was one of the greatest gifts. I'll never forget those evenings when I would ask, what's for dinner? Hoping it was not there. Again, you would reply with a twinkle in your eye, Eabara. reminding me to be resourceful and grateful. You are overjoyed to welcome Melody into our family, embracing her as a daughter and a true companion for me. Your love for your grandchildren, Shaza, Jay, Lizzie, and Degwa, knew no bounds, and you cherish every moment with them. You encouraged my independence, nurtured my love for IT, and instilled in me a value of discipline. Your love and wisdom have shaped me into the in innumerable ways. I long for our long conversations about grandchildren, my IT projects, and the farming tales that lead me back to my roots here. Your legacy lives on, not just in the lessons you taught or the love you shared, but in the spirit of everyone you've touched. You remain my beacon of strength, my source of wisdom, and my embodiment of love. Your spirit will forever guide me and inspire me.
I found a small from Proverbs 31, 25 to 26 that I think just, just reminds me of her. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. I love you, Mom. <laughs>